This summer has been exceptionally humid in southwest and central Virginia. In fact, dew points have gotten into the 70s 46 times this year. That's only happened 13 other times in the last 106 years. For local produce farmers like Johnny and Melody Divers, this can provide a challenge. A short drive into Goose Creek Valley will bring you to Chapel Creek Farms, where tradition, home values, and sweet treats await you. For co-owner Melody Divers, mm -hmm. it's all about getting people back together. I want people to realize if they took 20 or 30 minutes, they could do something homemade and fresh, and it's a great treat, and they could recreate those memories with their family. Just a few minutes at the cider barn, and you become part of the family. The divers told 10 News they want you to linger. We want people to linger and feel like this isn't a place you rush. That's part of what keeps Gail Montgomery coming back despite her long drive. I drive over from Franklin County to be here to purchase whatever they have in season. Um, I love fresh produce. I love to know their farming practices that are similar to the farming practices we adopt on our own farm. That's where Johnny Divers comes in. Johnny is carrying on the family tradition of farming here, but every year the weather provides a challenge. The grapes and the peaches, I've seen a little more rot in there than I'd like to have. The humidity keeps them damp a lot more and causes a lot of problems in them. Despite these issues, Divers tells us that it only takes 15% of a peach bloom to make a full crop. And with the fall harvest just weeks away, they're hopeful that the humidity will ease up on the peaches, apples, and grapes that they grow. But long as we can get some decent days here in the next couple of weeks, most apples should be good. You're always going to have a few yeah. that's not going to look perfect anyway. Right. You only have to wait a few more weeks before their tasty apple cider is ready to go. The more variety of apples I can get in to mix together to make a cider, the better cider it will be. The same goes for applesauce and the apple pies you'll see posted to their Facebook page. They'll start picking the apples they grow at Kennedy's Orchard in Bedford in about three weeks. Afterwards, you can get your hands on their delicious apple cider. We have a video on our website that shows how the cider is made, and we've also posted their hours, upcoming events, and directions to the barn on WSLS.com. In studio, I'm meteorologist Chris Michaels, 10 News, working for you.